So we're going out shooting this morning. We're going up the canyon, but uh, we're, we're making a pit stop at where the old Utah air guns all began, right here at the old Jakesburg side. This is where I started Utah air guns. I started selling air guns is basically uh, kind of out the, out the back door of the gas station. So that's where it all started. And here we are. Let's go get some grub. Dude, I must have got grease on or something. Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, we're out here this morning. We're gonna call this the Air Max morning. We all have outfitted ourselves with uh, different models of Air Max guns. So, Sawyer, what you got? All right, guys, I've got one of the new Catran Ns. This is the 700 millimeter and 22 cal. So I'm a huge fan of this gun because right out of the box, it's shooting 30 grain H&Ns at 1040 and it's just stacking them, like literally out of the box, aired up, and that's what it was shooting. So, and I've already turned one chipmunk into two chipmunks <laughs> at about 50 yards. So I'm a huge fan of this gun. Lots of adjustability in the back. It folds. I'm a huge fan of folding guns, if you've seen any of my other guns. But we've got an Element Nexus on here and an Impulse Moderator. But yeah, that's the Catran N. We got the Catran Long, 25 cal. We got a Helix 4 to 16 on here shooting 25 grain pellets, adjustable butt sock, this thing's hammering, got first blood of the day, yeah. All right, so I've got the uh, the little crate, 22, shooting 15.89 uh, grain Hades. Got her topped up with a Helix 4 to 16. Uh, this is a sweet little gun. This is great for like picking off birds and trees and stuff. So I figured since we were in and out of the side-by-sides, it'd be a good one to just kind of back these guys up since they're gonna be handling the long stuff. All right, what's up everybody? My setup of the day, you've probably seen it in other videos. This is my Air Max Catran. It's uh, got the custom uh, dark camo Cerakote. Uh, I've got a few aftermarket accessories on. As you can see, I've got the adjustable butt, butt pad. I've got the nice uh, dark walnut furniture. Uh, I've got the Arca plate aftermarket. I've got the Impulse Air Moderator. And uh, I've got it topped with the uh, Zeiss uh, S3. And this, this gun is a super fun gun for this kind of stuff too, because it does fold. And I've got mag holders, so I got, I got extra mags in the stock, so I don't have to worry about you know, finding extra mags in the, in the cup holders or whatever, so I'm ready to rock. Hi. Bye. There's another one. There he is, right at the base of that corner. Now he's going up that pole. See him? Now he's right at the top. Oh my gosh! I saw it. I saw it two sides go down, so. Got him. Oh my gosh. That thing's a hammer. <laughs> Dude. Stuff that up. is my next purchase. Dude, I would, I would There's one in the top of that tree way over there. See it? How the like skyline? Like in the very, yeah, in the very top dead tree. Oh, oh I see it. Yeah. No call. I think it was high. <laughs> it looked down, it looked like. So try like three and a half, maybe? Got him. Get him? Oh, dudes. Oh, they're fast little buggers. Yeah, he just ran up. Yo! Yo! Look at him rolling down the hill! That sounded good. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There is brains all over the oh back of that rat. That is awesome. Gosh, dude. <laughs> that just emptied his head. 
Dude, I can see daylight through his head. Oh my god. I should have just held straight on him. Held over him and I missed. And I should have just held straight on him. That's what you get for being dumb. You guys are crazy. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. He's rolling down the road. <laughs> So we have we've made the journey. We've actually uh, we traveled up. We're actually right here at the Strawberry Bay uh, Marina. So we came clear over the mountain. We're uh, we're just gonna come over, try and get some more uh, ground squirrels and stuff, and uh, get some lunch, make our way back. So that's where we're at right now. Had a great drive. It's beautiful up here. Wish it wasn't cloudy because uh, that that kind of really puts the the ground squirrels down. So, but uh, hey, that's that's. That's the gamble you take when you're in the mountains. So today we're in the mountains shooting ground squirrels and it's a little cloudy, but we have hammered. We hammered this morning, so it's been a good day. All right, so we just, uh, we just finished lunch and while we were in having lunch, it just started raining like a monsoon. It was dumping. Uh, it finally is, it's lightened up a little bit and thank goodness we're in a full cab because uh, it's still it's still raining pretty good but there for a while I mean the, the place we were eating it, the roof was leaking everywhere it was, it was absolutely dumping so I'm glad it's not doing that unfortunately we might be done killing for the day who knows we'll just have to we're gonna make our way back over the mountain I was told like we talked to the guys at the shop and they said it's just blue skies and sunny at the shop so Hopefully when we get on that side of the mountains, everything's good, so we shall see. That's a wrap. We've had a, uh, a very long day that we thought was going to be just a fun little morning get together and uh, go shoot the, the Air Max guns. So we each had a model of an Air Max arms gun. Um, Sawyer used the Catran N all day. I used the standard Catran in 22 caliber. He was shooting slugs. I was shooting pellets. You were shooting 22 pellets, right? Yep. 15 that grain Hades. Compact. Yep. Tate, what did you, what were you running? 25 grain pellets. Okay, Got a standard. Stand, so a Catran standard. And um, I can't say enough about how well these guns perform today. I'm absolutely blown away at, at this Catran and, and what it was doing today. It, I mean, it just, a just laser beam, so an absolute laser beam. So Sawyer was like just, 
Yeah, zero tuning too is the cool part. That's this. I pulled this one out of the box, out of our inventory, and gas it up. And the first slugs I put through it. Well, technically not the first slugs I put through it. I wasn't expecting it to be this powerful, so I threw a 23 grain uh, knockout through it, and it did like 1160. So I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so we put some 30 grain H and N's, and it was just on top of each other at 1040. So. That's crazy. So, yeah, uh, and. I remember you you had a hundred and like hundred thirty yard shot, and we didn't even like run dope for it. Mm -mm. And so I'm like making calls like, oh, and yeah, we started I, yeah. three that or like, may uh, maybe hold four mils. It was like ended up being three point five mil hold, just a hold over mm -hmm. and smack at hundred and thirty yards. Yeah, it's, that's insane. It's a laser. That's a laser beam. So uh, super fun day. We shot a lot of stuff and. Uh, really we just we you know we don't we don't get out all the time with the air max arm stuff but today we were set out we wanted to really showcase uh the air max arm stuff because it is i don't know if you call it underrated but kind of goes under the radar sometimes mm -hmm. but uh my gosh they shoot so good pellets or slugs amazing and we had a great time and uh, I'm sore from riding in the side-by-side -side all day, but uh, we had a great time. And I mean, what's to complain about? We got to go for a great ride in the mountains. We got to shoot lots of stuff. We had a great time. We got rained on more in the restaurant than we did. Yeah, we got sense. rained on inside the restaurant because it was raining so hard. Quite a day, quite a day, but we had a great time. And uh, that's a wrap though. We got to actually get back to work. It's almost five o'clock and we still have like a day's work to do. So we probably should do that. <laughs> so off we go. That was a great Thursday. Uh, I mean, I can't think of a better way to spend it. So there you go.